Hi, welcome to BoxPred. In this video, I'm going to be giving my prediction on the April 16th fight between Andre Berto and Victor Ortiz for the WBC welterweight title. Um, my prediction for this fight is a victory for Andre Berto by decision. Um, the records show that Berto has 27 victories with no losses, no draws, and a 77% knockout ratio, so he's unbeaten. And uh, Victor Ortiz has 28 victories, 2 losses, 2 draws, and around a 68% knockout ratio. Um, now, just having a look at Victor Ortiz, the challenger in this, um, he's got power in both hands, um, he's got a 68% knockout ratio, he's got decent power. Um, he He's a type of fighter that um, has shown that he has ability, he has he has some talent, but he always come, seems to come up short. He never really produces on the main stage and never lives up to his um, potential. Um, that's the problem. Um, I think it's uh, he loses concentration um, and he gets careless and drawn into fights where he doesn't have to. Um, I think if he used his brain a little bit more, he could be a pretty good uh, fighter from the outside particularly. Um, I think he has a type of movement, the ability with the movement, good movement to do that. I mean, he has decent reflexes and speed. But um, he does careless things like um, <clears throat> if you look at his fight against Marcus Maidana, he knocked Maidana down and then straight away he came in. And um, Maidana caught him with the first punch and knocked him down because he goes in for punches and he tends, when he goes in, Victor Ortiz tends to, to lower his, uh, he goes in with the right, for example, tends to lower the left as he goes in. So he's not covering himself at the counter. Um, so he's, he is li liable to be countered and that's going to be um, quite a factor in this one. Um, Andre Berto, um, in similar fashion, I think these, these are both rather flawed fighters. And now I know Berto's unbeaten. But I think um, he hasn't really, um, he hasn't impressed that much that he looks unstoppable. You know, he's been he's been down. Um, <clears throat> I know against uh, Quintana, he was uh, he went down the one time, and um, the ref didn't uh, judge it as a knockdown. But um, he he is he is also open to the counter, in my opinion. Um, he gets a bit wild at times. He has um, good, good aggressive, aggressive and speedy attack. So he's, he's um, that's that also um, cu coupled with his power has given him quite a high knockout ratio. And I think that um, he's going to need those pockets of aggressive attack um, and fast, fast attack in this to pick up the points. I think that's what he's going to do. Um, I think I'm, ex I'm expecting there to be trades throughout in this. Um, from what I've explained in looking at these two fighters, it does all really point to a stoppage. But I just sometimes just have a feeling with a fight, um, and I just feel it's going to go the distance for some reason. I don't know why. I just think these guys are going to end up going the distance together, and there's going to be some moments where maybe there's some knockdowns, but I think they're going to um, eventually see it through. And um, I think if it, is, it could be a close fight. I think uh, Berto's got his hands full with Ortiz in this one. Um, I think it could be a close fight. Um, but if it's close, I'm expecting Berto to get the decision because he is the champion and he's going to be having an advantage there. Um, I think um, that ultimately, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Berto uh, by decision. Like I said, I'm expecting quite an active fight. I think the difference is going to be that Andre Berto is going to throw, um, he's going to be a bit more active than Ortiz throughout. Um, uh, he's going to be able to pin Ortiz back because I think that... Um, you can, he's a very come forward fighter, Andre Berto, and I think he's going to be able to pin Victor Ortiz down and pin him back, um, you know, get him against the ropes a few times in this fight. And I'm expecting that to make the difference um, where the judges, judges are concerned. So I'm going to go for um, Andre Berto by this to retain his title with a, um, decision, a close decision victory. So thank you um, for watching my video. That's my prediction. Please uh, subscribe if you like my channel or leave, leave your comments. Let me know what you think on this fight. This is Boxpred, and I'm out.